What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's our 20 week update. Where has time went? I don't know. Time has been going by so fast and we are halfway done. Let's jump right in and I will show you guys my belly at the end of this video. I know in the last um, couple updates I have not shown you guys my belly and I totally forgot. Huge but it's not huge. It's but yeah, we'll talk about that in the video too. And I will be talking about my little belly button when I show you guys. So I tried to cover everything that I covered in the last previous video. But if I don't, if you guys are interested in anything or have any questions, just leave them down below. And I will do it in the next update. Probably going to be late because the video will probably be up by the time I'm like 25 weeks pregnant or whatever it's just I'm behind so I usually already do the videos it just takes time for me to upload them if you guys have any questions just let me know and I will answer in the next video so I know in the last video my 16 week update um, so I'm gonna try to go based off of the stuff I answered on there so you guys can be kind of like updated everything you know <laughs> so I can definitely feel the baby moving now it's like a really 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 active baby um so I feel the baby moving around and punching and kicking me. My stomach is not that big. Sometimes when the baby like gets like in like a weird position or like bulges out, I don't know, does something weird in there. And so my stomach like freaking feels like it's like stretching apart. So it hurts because it's not like a big belly yet. It's smaller than what I usually get when I'm pregnant with girls because when i was playing with my girl that was huge but this time it's it feels huge because obviously i'm not used to being this big but it's not that big but yeah i can definitely feel the baby moving everywhere all the time i am super hungry all the time i have to eat before i go to bed and when i wake up in the mornings and send my daughter to school i have to eat Usually I fall asleep kind of late, like at 11 or 12. So I have to eat something before I go to sleep or I can't sleep at night. I have no more nausea in the mornings. Thank God for that. I am past the morning sickness phase. So I'm just hungry all the time. I'm not sick anymore. I'm just like starving, starving, starving. And I'm trying not to tell you guys what I'm having yet because, um, after this video will be the gender reveal, which I already had a gender reveal. I'm a little bit past 20 weeks right now. I am 21 weeks right now. But yeah, next video after this will be the gender reveal. If you guys are interested, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can find out. So I did um go back to work for part-time. I don't think I mentioned that in the other video. I have been going back to work because I've been trying to keep active. That way the baby flies out and comes out real quick. Um, so I only work three days right now. When I work weekends, there's a lot of work, so I have to be up and walking around and stuff. So after the end of the day, um, on Sundays, because I work Saturday and Sunday, after Sunday, my bones down there hurt, so that is something new that's been happening. I had that happen to me with my daughters, but it only happened the last month with them. So it's kind of soon for that, but... Yeah, so my last video also, um, I talked about how I think I had depression. Well, I think I'm past that. Um, yeah, I haven't been feeling like it's gone away, I think, because I haven't really had moments like being super sad and feeling, you know? Some days I do just wake up and I don't feel like doing anything and then like gloomy, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, I think it's over. It might be over. So, I am so thankful for that. I was feeling rough. The main big change that's been happening right now, I have really horrible, um, it's like lower back hip pains on my hips, down in the back. <laughs> um, Yeah, <laughs> that's how I can explain it the best. I get really like sharp pains. Some days it's really bad. I feel like it feels like when you're giving birth, those at last, like when you're like at a nine to the ten, um, you kind of feel your back like pulling apart. Um, well, I've been having that, so I've been feeling that it's like really intense. Like, I was scared sometimes because I was like, hold on, like, what is happening? Like, 
I'm not going to labor, right? I still have those, but I don't have those anymore often because I used to have them like every day. It used to just come out of nowhere and like freaking start pulling my back and my hips. Um, which I guess it makes sense because I feel like my hips grew. But yeah, that is one of the main things that is going on right now. And the only reason why I didn't freak out is because my sister um, told me that she had some pains like that too. So I was like, okay, well, if she's had some. And my friend told me that she got those too because she's um, about to have her baby real soon. So I was like, okay, it should be fine. I'm not in labor. <laughs> I shouldn't be in labor, okay? So I think that was mainly my main scare. I didn't like give birth too soon or something, but no. Um, it's normal according to those two sources I have. But yeah, um, let me show you guys my belly now. I keep talking. I feel like there hasn't been so many changes. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys my belly. So, um, my belly is not that big. It's really not that big. Um, oh yeah, another update. I didn't really talk about this, but I have really, really bad stretch marks. They're white stretch marks they're like white stretch marks and i don't know why because my belly is not that big um i don't scratch it it's just weird but yeah um there's my belly sometimes it like bulges out more than other days but yeah there's a lot of them like down here to the side and then down here um i never got stretch marks with my two daughters and like i said i feel like i grew huge with them i only got stretch marks after I give birth. So uh, that is something new too. And my stomach's not itchy. My stomach is not like, oh, I feel it stretching. No. There's my belly. My belly button is still um in. It's not popping out like my actual belly button. So if you guys see that, it's still in there. But the top one, I did talk about my little top belly button. Well, this other little belly button is popping out um, more every day. Um, I think I did tell you guys. Well, you can kind of see right here without my shirt on. But you guys see it right here? So it does grow bigger. You can definitely see the indentation I have right here. So I did tell you guys about this last time. And sure enough, my thoughts were right. My belly button doesn't grow, but this little thing does grow. I'm pretty sure this grows as my belly grows. So yeah, guys, I think that's it basically for this 20-week update. Don't forget, guys, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below. I will definitely be sure to answer them. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. It really helps me. And subscribe. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And if you guys could just... Let me know some videos you guys would be interested in watching. So thank you guys for watching and bye!